Hi, I'm Jan with MakeItBooks.com. Now that you've got your plush toy all cleaned up and listed uh, on Amazon, you're ready to package it up and get it shipped out. I'd like to share with you how I do it. Um, first thing, you have to have your tools. I use a shrink wrap, shrink wrap machine to uh, do a first wrapping around my toy and then I put it into the poly bag to send it in. These poly bags have the warning label on it, but if you don't have the ones with the warning label, you have some plain ones, they'll work just fine too. All you need to do is have a warning label to stick on the outside. Um, on our website, makeitbooks.com, in the library, we have a PDF file that you can download to your computer and print these out. Uh, this size is the 4x2 standard Avery labels and generics too. They'll all work. Okay? So, let me get started. I've got my little Ernie plush animal or toy, and I'm going to double check that I've got, got a little fuzz on him. Uh, pull out my shrink wrap. You don't have, a, have to have a fancy one like this. I happen to have it just from a previous uh, business. Put little Ernie in here, and I like to position him carefully so that he looks his best when he arrives to the child or whoever's getting him. Um, I want to get him kind of closed up to where he makes a nice little bundle and doesn't take up as much space. But I want him to stay nice and fluffy. So I'm going to seal him down right here so he's got a nice tube. My shrink wrap has a fold at one end and an opening at the other. So I only have to seal it on the side and then at the bottom. Okay. So he's had his first wrapping right here. Okay, and I found over time that this wrap is not enough at especially now what they've got that Amazon has their new regulations. This is not enough. So, I put him in the bag, the poly bag. Your poly bag needs to be at least 1.5 millimeters. This particular one is a uh, 2 millimeter. But he gets in here, and because he's got that bag around him, he slides in real easily. I can slide him in, put him together, Try to get some of the air out before I seal him down. But I'm going to fold the plastic over a little bit so that it's got a clean edge. I use some of my shipping tape. Pull out a nice big piece. And I'm going to go across the middle of the, the folded edge and then tape him down real good. And I want to tape it from the top to the bottom uh, because you want to make sure that you don't have anything that's going to stick in those um, conveyor belts. Okay? And then this is where you can put your uh, Amazon label on it and then it's ready to be tossed in a, bat, in a box and shipped out. Okay? I hope this helps you get ready for shipping.